is going good morning good again morning. you lovely little thing welcome to breakfast television thank you congratulations on your amazing That's so thriving. cool that it's you saw it's it. Out. <laughs> yeah. Now you've seen the video treatment before, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's not the yeah, first time. Yeah, it's just weird that it's not a secret anymore. Like everybody can, everybody can watch it, which is really cool. <laughs> Tell me, where does your passion lie? Because I was reading your your Twitter tweets. Tweets. <laughs> How's that for redundant? And you were saying that music is by far your passion. Is that the case? Um, I don't know if you. Well, of course, yes, my passion, but um, acting is right along parallel with that. I mean, it's hard to choose just one. Yeah. Um, I kind of grew up with both, so. It's kind of hard to choose which one I like better. It seems now everybody is a triple threat anyway, kind of like it was in the old school Hollywood yeah. days before you mm -hmm. were even a thought, right? Where everybody could dance, sing, act, so that's fantastic. A little fantastic. bit, yeah. It's great. It's nice to know we live in a world where everybody's so talented. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And who are your musical influences? We were just talking oh, Incubus. Influences. We both love Incubus. Yeah, I love Incubus. Um, everybody knows I love Radiohead. If you know me at all, everybody knows that. Um, I listen to a lot of Beck. I like Paramore, um, The Dead Weather. It's playing a show in LA actually this week. So, okay. Yeah. And how often do you get to see your little puppy? I asked because I made me. There is a. What is your dog's name? Luna. Luna, yes. which means moon. Which means moon. Yeah. Okay. Can we please take a look at this Twitter yes, pic? Yes. Yes. Hysterical. Can. What happens to Luna, <laughs> Emily? What happens to um, Luna? Honestly, it's not what happens to Luna. That's just what she's like every day. Oh, um, she's got a nice little afro there. Um, she had just woken up, actually, I think. I look like that when I wake up, oddly enough. She's so cute. Yeah. What she, kind of dog is that? Um, she's a teacup poodle. She is adorable. Yeah, yeah she's like a little, just, just a dog afro. Yeah. How long have you had her? I've had her, I got her for my uh, 16th birthday, so uh, um, a little more than a year. So how does it feel being 17 and having this huge success? We were talking about how your fan base on Twitter is over 300,000, which is phenomenal. <laughs> does it ever sink in? How do you deal with that kind of fame? Uh, I don't know if it's deal with it. It's just kind of, um, I just feel really blessed that, um, I don't know, I just couldn't, I, I, it's just weird. It's a little strange that everybody wants just um, information and everybody wants to follow me on Twitter. I mean, it's cool. You mm -hmm. feel kind of, in a strange way, powerful. It's really weird. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. And what's it like working every day with Miley? It's just her international yeah. superstar. I mean, it's something I don't think anybody could have predicted. You would never predict that, I mean, Miley is as big a star as she is. I mean, when we go down and we work on the show, we're all in our pajamas and we're all just having fun and you would just never know. She's a total normal, normal, normal person. She really is that down to earth. She really is, yeah. No, we want the dirt though. I'm not <laughs> kidding. You can tell she's a really wholesome girl. No, we uh, yeah, we just dance in the dressing room on our lunch breaks and play Guitar Hero. And we're totally normal kids. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Did, I don't know if you saw the segment earlier, but Mr. Belding has come out with a karaoke DVD. You guys might want to give that a whirl. We should. Yes, yeah. We're gonna try that here. Cool. Let's take a look at a clip actually of Hannah Montana the movie. Right. You play her best friend. I do. Lily, let's mm -hmm. take a look. Maybe I don't know. It looks like we're gonna be just friends, but he hasn't met Hannah yet. Oh, hi. Sorry, I, um, I didn't see you. I'm Travis. This is Lily. She's my, um, my assistant. Executive assistant. How do you feel when watching yourself? You seem okay. You don't cringe. Uh, it's, you get used to it. It's, uh, it's a little strange. I was on an airplane one time, and, and some of those shows that were featured, um, on the in-flight was uh, Hannah Montana. It was, it was kind of weird. And I scrolled through it, and I'm like, oh, that's so strange. I'm on an airplane. <laughs> But uh, it was pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah. Is it true I was reading a quote that said your brother, the very famous Haley Joel, gives you some insider tips on what to do? Or was this something when you first started out in terms of uh, focus and make yeah. sure you look present? Um, you know, Haley and I are just strictly brother and sister. I mean, we both, uh, my dad was um, our acting coach and is still mine and he manages both of us. And so um, I just take all my tips from him. But he's there just to beat me in ping pong and that kind of thing. What an incredible resemblance, too. It really is amazing. We just showed the picture side by side. And what's yeah. the age difference? Four years. Wow. Yeah. So you see each other often or not so much? Would you ever um, want to work together on a we, project? We live on different coasts now, so um, I don't get to see him. He's actually in town this week, but I'm here. So oh. it's, uh, we work it out, though. Um, he's, uh, he's doing really well. So Tell I'll, me if this is true, too, Emily. I was reading that uh, a quote that said, you still, to this day, haven't been able to watch Sixth Sense. Because oh, no. See, that quote was like five years ago. So you've seen it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And? Um, it, it's, it's sad. It's more, I find it more sad than scary. Mm -hmm. um, I I'm not a huge fan of scary movies. Um, I like to sleep at night. Yeah. But uh, uh, it was actually scary because he was like, he was upstairs while I was watching with my dad, and I just ran up and gave him a hug. I was like, Oh my gosh, you're so sad. <laughs> so tell us about all the great stuff that's coming your way. You've got the new album coming out. Yes. There's a little sneak mm -hmm. peek. The EP is coming out when? The EP is coming out October 27th. Okay, and as of today, they can digitally.
digitally. It can find it everywhere on iTunes, all your digital carriers. You can all download the, the song. Mm -hmm. Okay, all and of course, up. there's Hannah Montana, the movie, which is also out on DVD. It just doesn't That's stop. Right. What haven't you done that you'd like to do? Is there anybody you'd mm. love to work with? Anything you'd oh, like to take on? Always, yeah. I always love to work with um, new people. I'd love to work with Tom York. I'd love to work with Ed Norton. I mean, there's so much that I'd want to do. You are so grown up, so wise, and so talented. Continued <laughs> Thank success. You. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. For more information, everybody, like we said, check it out October 27th for the EP. Pick up Hannah Montana. This is a courtesy Disney DVD. You're going to want to see that movie and always watch her on TV because she's a pleasure. Twitter.com slash Emily Osmond right. to uh, be one of the 300,000 plus plus plus. Her fan base will continue <laughs> to grow and you deserve it. You're a sweetheart. Thank Over you. to Francis D'Souza.